Hello YouTube, it is Strawberry Bennies. Today we are going over a Alice in Wonderland haul. And as you know, I usually do this like once every couple months. So I do have more Alice stuff coming, but I'll wait <laughs> until April, which a lot of Alice stuff comes out in April because it's springtime. And then I end up getting a lot of stuff in April that's Alice because my birthday is also in April. So a lot of people get me Alice things. So let's get started. Please like, share, and subscribe. This, this isn't new, but the frame is new. I never had a frame for this before. It was just the print. So this is Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Tea Party. This is by an artist and I got this in Disneyland. I don't even think they have the store that just sells prints and Disney stuff. They definitely don't at Disney World anymore. That used to be in the like main section of Disney World when you came into the park, uh, main square, main town, whatever that's called. <laughs> It used to be there, but so I'll have to see if it's still at Disneyland in the like free Disney Springs, I think is what it's called there, or Disney Downtown. Disney Downtown? Anyway, this is a Cheshire Cat from Build-A-Bear. If you watched my Lord of the Rings video about Build-A-Bear, you saw him, but for those that didn't, Cheshire! So cute. Got him for Christmas from my sister love him super soft and he's actually bigger than I thought he would be so that's really cool this I got two because one is from my friend Yuri uh, in his Alice in Wonderland box that we'll do our swap eventually but it is a Alice in Wonderland coloring book and it's um, for adults just because it's like difficult some of these like coloring in it like this with all the lines but it's nothing that's like bad, like not made for kids, you know what I mean? So there's that one, super fun. And then I also have another coloring book, but this one is definitely for adults because it does talk about drugs. <laughs> like it's about marijuana, but let's be real. It's Alice, she's smoking with the caterpillar. This is the stoner coloring book. And Dinah is even rolling her a doobie here. <laughs> so a lot of these are just about weed and smoking. And yeah, some of these Alice has like tattoos and looks all like alternative. Next, we have some stickers. This one has Alice with her bright blonde hair, all in different poses. And at the bottom, we've got Cheshire Cat, some hearts, the Mad Hatter hat. This is all in blue and gray. So it's all muted. And Alice and like uh, a mirror, a oh, white rabbit like cake down there. Super cute. This is a book that I got from Amazon. Pick your own quest and it's the Alice in Wonderland edition. Over 30 possible endings. You fall down the rabbit hole when you have a panic, minding your own business. When you're having a picnic, <laughs> minding your own business, when a right rabbit with a pocket watch hops by, you follow him, of course, and wind up in Wonderland. But now you have, chose, chosen, you have choices to make. Do you try to become the new queen? Do you look for a way out? Do you free the flamingos and hedgehogs being used as the queen's croquet game? Or do you just eat cake and tarts? The choices are yours. Remember, you can't turn back, sorry. Once you make a choice, it has to be, it can't be changed. Choose wisely. Oh, we've got the Cheshire Cat. This is one of those choose your own adventures. I love those type of books. And it's an Alice one, so why not? I haven't read it. Because I wait till I do these like Alice hauls with you before I use the stuff in them. <laughs> I got this makeup bag that says, eat me, drink me, Alice in Wonderland, and then has some iconic Alice in Wonderland images on it. And I thought this would be bigger for makeup. It would be quite small. Um, I wear makeup every day, and I can definitely not put like the makeup I use every day in this. 
Um, but this would be a cute go bag or just a bag for my makeup brushes. So this was on Amazon. If it's still there, I will put the link down below so you can buy it if you want it. It's white canvas. So also remember if you are using it for makeup, it's going to get kind of dirty. <laughs> then this was also on Amazon. These are card suits that are cookie jar, cookie cutters, and they come with club, diamond, heart, and spade. So just like all the card suits, these are made use and care, hand wash in soapy water, dry thoroughly before and after use. And it doesn't say what they're made with, but it just says more than baking, R and M, memory making. I mean, they're pretty good size. So I will be using these to make some Alice in Wonderland cookies. <laughs> and then when I'm eating those cookies, I will be drinking some tea. So this one is the Disney Wonderland tea. This is the one you can get in the park. Um, I just even got the Disney Park logo. Has the expiration of 11-30-2022. This is the Unbirthday Cake Blend. This, in my opinion, is one of the best teas uh, flavors out of that Disney um, collab with Alice to make the teas. It just has such a nice like fragrance and taste. So this is a birthday cake black tea, strong flavors. Uh, black tea with deep opening flavors of vanilla buttercream, cocoa, and colorful flower petals. Hurry up before it disappears in your cup, because it's Cheshire Cat. And then this one, you can get online. You can also get it on Amazon. So, oh, you can just smell it as soon as I'm taking it out of the plastic. Oh, it smells so good. This is a floral scent to it. This is afternoon tea, and it has the old, um, illustrations of Alice in one of the original books. She's holding a cake and then the Mad Hatter is over here and it says, it's always tea time. This is by Whitard at Chelsea and it started in 1886. Afternoon tea blend with flavoring and loose tea leaves. The top has a W. This canister is gorgeous. I'm gonna keep it. Look at that, we have a nice little like handle at the top and it says, discover a world of good taste. I can already tell this smells a million times better than the Disney Parks version. Um, I bet this is gonna be <laughs> incredibly good tea. I am so gonna have this in the morning. <laughs> Here's a little lid. Oh, it's so good. I wish I had smell-o-vision so you could smell that, okay? Oh, we've got, it looks like roses in there. All types of curry men. We've got vanilla, looks like. Oh man, that looks amazing. Amazing. And this is good till 2024. Oh, it just smells lovely. It's like stepping into a tea shop. Let's see if it talks about more of what is in this. Ingredients, black tea, green tea, and oolong, so mixed together. Uh, tea, rose petals, flavoring, and cornflower petals. That was the other petal in there. I was like, what is that? I know that. Cornflower. <laughs> um, me being Native American, that's like a flower we use quite a bit and stuff. And then it says, per cup, infuse one teaspoon of tea with boiling water for 35 minutes. Blend and packed, blended and packed in Germany. Even though, Whitard of Chelsea, Windrush House, Whitney, UK. Wow, packaged in Germany. This was super fancy. Super fancy. I want to do an Alice in Wonderland, like... ASMR tea party. I have not yet. I have so many dresses and stuff for that. <laughs> I want to do it. I have some more of these. Um, I've had these before and these were pretty cheap. 
I found them again. So these are the Alice in Wonderland six designs, 51 pieces, and these are art seal stickers. Super cute. And then I found this itty bitty tiny, tiny, tiny. Look at that. And I have tiny hands. Tiny soap. This is Alice's tiny little hand soap. Grows smaller and smaller with repeated use, then shrinks away altogether. <laughs> it smells like baby powder and vanilla. And this says a vegetable soap with shea butter, cocoa butter, olive oil, grapeseed oil. Wash your hands before wash your hands before cake. <laughs> wash your hands before tea parties. Wash your hands before croquet. Not recommended for use in a pool of tears. <laughs> I don't want to use it. It's way too cute. Like, way too cute. That'll be cute in my Alice Hutch, too. So, this was interesting. I got this on Amazon as well. Yeah, yeah. I want to put it with my plants. So, it is a, like, kind of demented, gothic, uh, Cheshire Cat teapot with Alice and the White Rabbit. And if you look at the White Rabbit's face, he looks unsure, like he's on that verge of like crying and smiling. And Alice is like, it's okay, let me read you this book. It's okay, it's okay, calm down, White Rabbit. It's so cute. And then there's these cute mushrooms that are kind of wobbly, popping out the top. And then we have this nice like swirly pattern on the back. And then this part for your thumb on the teapot, you could easily like stick something small there, like the Dormouse, you know? I thought it was pretty cute. It's um, like plastic kind of feeling mixed with probably like clay. It's really pretty. So then there's that. Then I have some more stickers. These are Disney um, stickers, one sheet, and it's all Alice in Wonderland original characters. And there's more, there's, there's definitely more than one sheet. This has about three or something. Let's see how many are in here. I got this on eBay. Um, I bought this from a seller. Four, four Alice in Wonderland sheets. So cute. So here are the different designs. So you can see both of them up close. Isn't that cute? I love the hearts. This is off with her head. And Curissa and Curissa. And even has the rose on there. Can you see the rose? So super cute. I got that on eBay. It wasn't that much. Next, I have these stickers, which are the same as the ones at the beginning. I bought two packs of those. And then these are quite fun. I'm gonna do these last. These are blind boxes of Alice in Wonderland, and these are all satyrs. And so we're gonna see what I get <laughs> in that because that'll be super fun. And then this metal sign, I haven't decided if I want it in my Alice in Wonderland uh, dining room or if I'm going to stick it in my laundry room, but it says it's no use going back to yesterday. I was a different person then. That is actually my favorite Alice in Wonderland line. I love that. I know exactly how that feels. I even know how it feels to wake up one day and then by the end of the day, it feels like you're a different person altogether because of what you've went through. <laughs> so I love that. This you can get on Amazon and eBay as well as a lot of those like metal sign shops. Then, if you have seen my hot chocolate design shoe video, you've seen these before. If not, these are super cute. If you're an Alice in Wonderland fan, you'll wanna get them and they're comfortable. This is called Rabbit's Hole, which I was confused when I did my video because I didn't like go back and look at my box to see if it said Rabbit's Hole or Rabbit Hole. And I just thought rabbit hole made more sense than rabbit's hole, but no, rabbit's hole. <laughs> These are racers they come with to clean the rubber part of your shoes, your Mary, Dane, Mary Jane, so it doesn't get, you know, scuffed and stuff. These are adorable. These 
I have a white rabbit with a pocket watch on the other side. This side says eat me cookie on the strap and this one says drink me with a drink bottle. They have suits and cards all around it, along with numbers on a clock. We have the clock face on the sides of the shoes, as well as one of the shoes has a teapot, and the other shoe has a key. And the inside is light blue. I love these. The bottom is really um, pretty too. We've got these nice pyramids, and then on this side we have teacups well, cups with steam, you know, they're supposed to be hot chocolates. Yeah, so there are those. Then I had these at Christmas. I showed them in my Christmas video as a gift I got, but I didn't open them. There are flower vases by Mary Blair, and these are from the Disney Park. Alice in the Plants. They're really tiny vases as well. These are vases you'd put like maybe like two flowers in or just one. The Mad Hatter at the tea party. It's not, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then lastly, this one's the round one, which is Alice uh, looking at the white rabbit's house. This is the house she gets stuck in. The white rabbit's pointing and Alice is just standing there. It looks like she has like blood on her, but I think it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if it's paint, but she's looking at the house like, ooh, like I wanna go in there. I love these. This was a whole set you could get at the Disney parks. They had things like, um, they had things like a table runner, plates, cups, uh, apron, maybe some tea trays and tea towels, but yeah, I want to get some more. <laughs> All right, so let's open our boxes here. So here is Seder Adventures in Wonderland, and the front here has Alice. Here's the side of some of the animals that you can get. And it looks like the Cheshire Cat is the hidden one. We've also got a rare, like, Dormouse. Super cute. I have never opened these. These were kind of hard to find, I'm not going to lie. This is by the company Pop Mart. I open their blind boxes of their puckies, as well as their, like, animal, oh, what is it called? Like, their bunny collection. Um, I've never opened their satyrs, which they have a few satyrs. So I'm going to show you the card, and I haven't seen what it is. Tell me if it's cute. Ah, it's the mock turtle and he's crying. All right. These um, blind boxes are made really, really well. Like the detail of these blows my mind every time. Oh, <laughs> mock is on the back with a sad crying face. Can you see that? Oh, sad emoji. And then here he is and he's crying with his handkerchief. So cute, and he's so soft. I really don't have a lot of muck turtle stuff, so I like him. Let's see if he'll stand up. My, no, he doesn't because of his tail. My puckies, I always put them in this little greenhouse on my, um, on my counter, and I change it for the seasons. He does not want to stand up. I hope the next one stands up. <laughs> All right, let's open the next. Honestly, I'd love any of this collection. I'm not gonna be like picky about who I get, but I really would like, like if they have the March hair, like the March hair or Alice. <laughs> Did I just get the March hair? Yes! <laughs> oh, he looks cute. All right, let's open it. Let's open it. Oh, he comes with something, I think, yeah. He comes with a teacup. Can you see that? Oh, and he has bunny ears and flowers in his ears. Where's he got in his pocket? A little leaf. He doesn't have a face. He's just like, meh. So cute. Okay, let me pause it and make him hold his teacup. Cute. 
And I want to get the others. Oh, I didn't notice. He also has the flower leaves on his hair and on the back of his jacket. Let's see if he stands up. Oh, yeah. He stands up. Can you see him? Da 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 da. And the mock turtle. Mark, mark, mark. Oh, I'm wearing an Oki Bookie dress today. Don't know if I should then. <laughs> I wanted to wear an Alice dress, and I actually got an Alice dress to show in this haul, so let me put that on and show it to you. Well, here's the dress. It's got Cheshire cat faces all over it and plants. I think it's super cute. It is by the company Cow Cow. I got it off Amazon. I'll put the link down below. But please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching my channel. Bye!